Hi, everyone. It is February 25, 2021. Wow. Humans may not be able to reproduce naturally much longer. Everyday chemicals? Is it only chemicals? No, but we're going to focus on the chemicals. In this video, the chemicals are threatening the future of human fertility. Is this oops? Is this just an an oopsie. Oh dear, those chemicals. <sighs> we just didn't know. Sorry, human race. No, we knew. They knew. We are living this macabre, dark, absurdist, Kafkaesque, dystopian, science fiction movie. Fiction turned nonfiction, all of which has been engineered to bring us right to this point. It's too bad people don't want to face reality, face the truth. But here we are. Ah, yes, we have, we have placed on pedestals those scientists, the experts that we've got to listen to to our demise. Well, this, this expert, uh, Shanna Swan, an environmental reproductive epidemiologist at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York, analyzed 185 studies involving 45,000 healthy men and she found, she and her team found, that over the past four decades, sperm counts among men in Western countries had dropped by more than 50%. That's a lot. Alcohol use, smoking, body weight, lack of exercise are but a few reasons. She did zero in on the more insidious cause, exposure to common chemicals interfering with the body's production of hormones. Endocrine, endocrine disruptors, men's sperm, isn't the only thing they affect. They may be changing human sexual development and reproduction in broader ways too. In girls, exposure to such chemicals have been linked to early onset of puberty. Women are experiencing a decline in egg quality, more miscarriages, and how many people do you know, how many women do you know, are having difficulty getting pregnant? Wi-Fi, by the way, also reduces fertility. So she estimates that by 2050, a large portion of the global population will need assisted reproductive technology to procreate. That's already happening. They're in personal care products, hand lotion, anything that helps smell get into your nose, to help the pesticides get into plants. Yeah, many products, pesticides going all the way back to DDT and currently all the way up to that fabulous roundup. Flame retardants, chemicals that are in everything from kids' pajamas to firefighting foam to cushions on sofas, and they're really hard to get rid of. Teflon, you know, those nonstick pans that you use to cook, it leaches into your food and then you eat it. Anything that makes water resistant, like clothing, like raincoats. Oh boy. Well, it affects hormones, the thyroid, immune system. But let me, I, I posted a video on this a while ago. This was back in October 28, uh, 2013 the dirty dozen endocrine disruptors, 12 hormone 
altering chemicals and how to avoid them. Okay, BPA. BPA has been linked to everything from breast and other cancers to reproductive problems, obesity, early puberty, heart disease. According to government tests, 93% of Americans have BPA in their bodies. This is this was 8 years ago. Food cans are lined with BPA. Receipts that you take from stores or those receipts that shoot out of uh, the uh, gas station where you fill up your car, the thermal paper, it's coated with BPA. So, avoid plastics marked with a PC for polycarbonate or recycling label number seven. Not all of these plastics contain BPA, but many do. So, you have plastics and some uh, cans in the supermarket that if they don't contain BPA, there's usually a sticker on that product that says no BPA. Dioxin, those multitaskers, they disrupt the delicate ways that both male and female sex hormone signaling occurs in the body. That's a bad thing. Recent research has shown that exposure to low levels of dioxin in the womb and early in life can both permanently affect for, uh, sperm quality and lower the sperm count in men during their prime reproductive years. They're long-lived, build up in the body and in the food chain. Our powerful carcinogens can also affect the immune and reproductive systems. How to avoid it? The American food supply is widely contaminated. Products including meat, fish, milk, eggs, butter are most likely to be contaminated. But you can eat fewer animal products and then you can cut down on your dioxins. Mm -mm -mm. Atrazine. The feminization of male frogs. Think of all of those children who born male or female and feel that they are of the opposite sex. Low levels of the herbicide, atrazine, can turn male frogs into females that produce completely viable eggs. Atrazine is widely used on the majority of corn crops in the United States. And corn is in so much. Uh, it's pervasive in our drinking water. Atrazine, atrazine has been linked to breast tumors, delayed puberty, and prostate inflammation in animals. And some research has linked it to prostate cancer. Buy organic produce. Get a drinking water filter. Reduce your atrazine. And these links right here bring you to more information on what kind of, what kind of water filter you should buy or what kind of products you should buy. Here are the, for the BPA, for more tips, check out E at the Environmental Working Group, .org, BPA. Okay, so phthalates. Avoid plastic food containers, children's toys, plastic wrap, wrap made from PVC, which has a recycling label number three. Avoid products that simply list added fragrance since this catch-all term means hidden phthalates. Uh, these, the fragrance that is in, I, I can't walk down a lawn, uh, the detergent aisles in supermarkets without experiencing some symptoms because the fragrance coming from those products 
absolutely horrible. Um, but boy, aren't we doing a number to ourselves. Perchlorate needs, well, who needs food tainted with rocket fuel? <laughs> Our food supply was taken over a very, very long time ago. And it brought us foods that are destroying the human race. Rocket fuel. Well, perchlorate contaminates much of our produce and milk. It competes with the nutrient iodine, which the thyroid gland needs to make thyroid hormones. While the uh, epidemic of people with thyroid problems, well, all of these problems that people are having with their health, it's only going to increase, increase, increase. So, basically, this means that if you ingest too much of it, you can end up altering your thyroid hormone balance. It's important because if these hormones that regulate metabolism in adults and are critical for proper brain and organ development in infants and young children, well, if you ingest too much of it, then you're going to have a lot of problems with your health. Uh, installing a reverse osmosis filter you can reduce percolate in your drinking water. As for food, it's pretty much impossible to avoid. But you can reduce its potential effects on you by making sure you are getting enough iodine in your diet. Eating iodized salt is a good way. Fire retardants. Swish. <laughs> Swish. Swishy. Swedish. Scientists studying women's breast milk. They found the milk contained an endocrine disrupting chemical found in fire retardants, and the levels had been doubling every five years since 1972. Every five years, so this was 2013. Ah, it has been found to contaminate the bodies of people, wildlife around the globe, polar bears. These chemicals can imitate thyroid hormones in our body and disrupt their activity. That can lead to lower IQ, among other significant health effects, while several kinds of these uh, BPDEs, the fire retardants, have now been phased out. Well, it doesn't mean that the toxic fire retardants have gone away. They're incredibly persistent, so they're going to be contaminating people and wildlife for decades to come. Virtually impossible to avoid passing better toxic chemical laws. <laughs> I don't know about your country, but it's a joke to even say that in the good old Oh, exceptional U.S. of A. Use a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter, which can cut down on toxic-laden house dust. Avoid reupholstering foam furniture. Uh, take care when replacing old carpets. The padding underneath may contain BPDE's lead. Well... Most people know that lead is quite toxic and can lead to affecting every organ in your body. Linked to a staggering array of health effects, including permanent brain damage, lowered IQ, hearing loss, miscarriage, premature birth, increased blood pressure, kidney damage, nervous system problems, and it disrupts your hormones a good water filter can reduce your exposure to lead in drinking water. And, well, correct me if I'm wrong, those um, 
geoengineering experts that are dimming the sun, aren't they also including in their heavy metal repertoire of spraying those heavy metals upon us? Is it lead one of them? Arsenic, I believe, is one of them. And that can kill you really fast if you have too much of it. If you have smaller amounts, well, it can cause skin, bladder, lung cancer, and it's in our food and drinking water. How did it get there? Hmm. Okay. Uh, A water filter that can lower arsenic levels. And again, right here is a link to what kind of water filter you should buy. Yeah, mercury, we all know. Wild salmon and farmed trout are good choices to eat, and everything else, don't eat it. But that mercury, you know, CDC website, the Marisol and vaccines. Marisol is a mercury-based preservative that has been used for decades in the United States in multi multi-dose vials, vials containing more than one dose of that vaccine, of medicines and vaccines. There is no evidence of harm caused, so don't worry about it. Flu shots contain the marisol, mercury, flu shots. And, you know, a little bit more uh, searching on this. I saw this, but this was January 2010. This was the flying, uh, wow, swine flu. Pandemic blows lid off laws limiting mercury in vaccines. So that swine flu vaccine, wow. Well, the laws allow for such temporary suspensions. It's in these multi-dose files. And, geez, I just have to wonder about that, you know, vaccine, you know, that was (laughs) magically produced in just a couple of months. What does that have in it? So, let's go back to the Dirty Dozen. For fluorinated chemicals, PFCs, nonstick cock... Uh, I'm giving up talking shortly, don't worry. Nonstick cookware can stick to you. Perfluorochemicals are so widely spread, extraordinarily persistent. 99% of Americans have these chemicals in their bodies. One particularly notorious compound called PFOA has been shown to be completely resistant to biodegrade uh, degradation. In other words, PFOA doesn't break down in the environment ever. That means that even though the chemical was banned after decades of use, it will be showing up in people's bodies for countless generations to come. It's linked to decreased sperm quality, low birth weight, kidney disease, thyroid disease, high cholesterol, among other health issues. Skip the nonstick pans, as well as stain and water resistant cookings on coatings. Wow, coatings on clothing, furniture, carpets. Oof, I get really frustrated. I can't imagine how you're feeling with how I'm kind of seeing different words than what are right smack in front of me. Organophosphate pesticides, neurotoxic organophosphate compounds. The Nazis had produced in huge quantities for chemical warfare. Hmm. Luckily, they were never used. Well, we don't really know the truth about that. But after the war ended, American scientists used the same chemistry to develop a long line of pesticides that target the nervous system of insects. 
Were they the American scientists or were they the Nazis that came to America under Operation Paperclip? Despite many studies linking organophosphate exposure to effects on brain development, behavior, and fertility, they still they are still among the more common pesticides in use today. A few of the main uh, okay, a few of the many ways that organophosphates can affect the human body, including interfering with the way testosterone testosterone communicates with cells, lowering testosterone and altering thyroid hormone levels by organic produce. Yeah, you know, a lot of the organic farmers use pesticides. Yeah, they do. Check it out. Glycol ethers, shrunken testicles. Ow! Now that sure did strike a chord. I know it did. Shrunken testicles. Common solvents and paints, cleaning products, brake fluid, cosmetics. Worried? You should be. European Union says that some of these chemicals may damage fertility or the unborn child. Studies of painters <clears throat> have linked exposure to certain glycol ethers to blood abnormal abnormalities, lower sperm counts, and children exposed to this chemical from paint in their bedrooms had substantially more asthma and allergies. I will link below to, to all of this information, but this is where we're headed, and I don't think it's going to be, you know, taking until 2015. I know a lot of women one in particular, right now, really struggling to get pregnant. And I have to say, you know, that I don't know anyone who would want to bring a child into this world. But a whole lot of people struggling to conceive don't know much about this world. That's the problem.